Hey there, Ryan Kingsline here. So I want to tell you or walk you through real quick what to expect out of this bundle. Have you ever seen those unpacking videos that they do? There are these little kid videos. Uh, they get like 9 million views on somebody unpacking an egg. That's what we're going to do. My, my children introduced me to that. So <laughs> what we're unpacking today, boys and girls, these are essentially the videos that you're going to get, minus the trailers, which you know we've already got on YouTube. You're going to get um, Sculpting the Face 1, 2, 3. You're going to get Male Face 1 and 2. You're going to get a Female Face. You're going to get the Baby Face. These are 30 minutes, 30 minutes. Both of these are 30 minutes. Quick Sculpting the Face is about 20 minutes, then 42. And then this one right here, this is a collection. What we're looking at, what we're trying to do is learn how to quickly sculpt the face. But it's not enough to quickly learn to, to learn how to quickly sculpt the face. You don't just like suddenly, hey, now I quick sculpt it. What I include in here is this um, this totally different approach. This is all a very controlled approach. And I'm going to tell you what I mean in just a second, so stay with me. There's 10 videos here, and you can see the lengths here. This is almost probably well over an hour of videos. This is all a very controlled approach to sculpting a skull. And the goal behind showing you that is to help you understand one of the key concepts, which I'm just going to kind of move up here. There's a lot of lecturing that I do in this first video, and I really talk about what implied form is versus defined form. And I give you a couple of examples, Ong or Delacroix, right? Or you take a more modern example, Justin Sweet or Neville Page. These are two different approaches to sculpting, to drawing, to art making. and the knowing these different ways is going to help us set the stage for what does it mean to really quick sculpt. Quick sculpt largely means we are working with implied form, suggested form. It's not crystal clear defined anatomy. And that's an important thing for us to do because it really fine tunes us on the essential elements so that we can kind of get in and start to create caricatures, right? We also talk about loose controlled and the, the whole ZBrush system but what we want to be able to do is quickly get results so that we can just be playing around with something and keep it realistic what do we need how much anatomy do we need to know to actually be able to make that happen let's take a look at the um, at the sculpting the female face one I'm gonna just move this up in here now when we're sculpting the female face, this is going to be quite a task for us. There's a lot of stuff involved in being able to sculpt, you know, realistic female faces that um still look like they've got let's just hit control zero to zoom that out. We start with structure suggested implied structure keep things loose this is the key to quick sculpting keep things loose put in just the anatomy that you need and in this case the anatomy is really just proportions so we're gonna look at how we do all of that and then when do we smooth it and then how do we work with the smoothing little cues that we need like let's definitely put some hair in there so we can start to really sense that this is a female just helps clue us in and then here you see me starting to work. You know, sometimes things look ugly, right? But eventually that all works out to where it becomes a female, soft female face. Something that's done very quickly with just enough detail to really look like a female face. Then we do this really cool trick. Let me just put this at control zero, half, and then I'll increase this as well. This is an entirely different approach where we just use the standard brush, but then we start to use topology as well. And we really start to make the topology work so that at one stage, one polygon becomes an entire plane in the human face. So one plane right there for the lips. That's your up plane. This is your down plane. This is your down plane. 
two polygons for your up plane there. And this is an entirely different approach than what we did before, where we were using clay buildup to kind of rough things in, and we didn't care about topology. Here in this one, we're caring about topology. But we don't stop it there, because then I come in, and I go over this low-res version to start to define a high-res version. So that's our low res, and then we come in, divide it, and we just start going to town, trying to get this to quickly evolve into an expressive, emotive character. The whole thing's a half hour. Throw some crazy hair in there. Fix the anatomy, but keep everything kind of loose and suggestive. My goal with this this series is to make help you understand how to create quick suggestive emotive form in the human face so we can get into expressions because expressions if you do it too controlled it's going to be a long time we want to be able to figure out how do we control form quickly and get something within five ten half hour how do we get something fast that's my goal for you sign up you still with me sign up <laughs> get this. this is really one of the cheapest products I've kind of let released and I'm really trying gum road out so let me know if this stuff is useful have a good one